Welcome back. Alright, so in this section what we are going to do is learn how to scatter foliage onto the terrain that we've just created inside of TOPS. Alright, and we're going to learn how to actually make it a dynamic process. Okay, so let's do a quick review and talk about some of the core concepts that we are going to learn throughout the section. So, we're going to learn how to utilize a bunch of file pattern notes so that way we can gather different types of foliage from our Unity project. And these are going to be prefabs that we want to get a path to. And we want to get that path because we want to then write that path to a CSV file. So we're going to dynamically write our trees and our bushes and our rocks and stuff like that to a CSV file. And what we're writing is the actual path to that location of the prefab inside of our Unity project. And then what we're going to do is we're going to utilize that path inside of our scattering HDA processor to actually instantiate those prefabs onto points that we scatter onto our terrains. Okay? So then what we're going to do there from there is actually partition all that data into little buckets, basically. And we're going to then work on each terrain tile individually and scatter individually on each of those terrain tiles. All right, and then finally we're going to learn how we're going to instantiate the foliage onto our terrain. So by the end of this section, what we're going to do is we're going to have a complete terrain with a bunch of foliage and rocks and bushes scattered all over our terrain. All right, and this is a really fast way to get just a ton of foliage onto your terrains. Okay. So with that said, let's move forward and jump back into Houdini and get things going.